Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome tutorial. So let's get cracking. Let's quickly start from my website, hlmodtech.com. There's a page about Tinkercad, day one favorites, useful starters, and then today, I want you to click on the HL Mod Tech profile. Scan through the designs and find the domino starter for 2024. When you click on this, friends, reactions are always appreciated. And there is a tutorial in the description. I'm going to copy that right now. Friends, a quick reminder about the golden rule of Tinkercad. Before you ever hit copy and tinker, always give a reaction. When the project loads, the first thing you should notice is there are notes. They start over here, of course, happy holidays. Check out all my lessons, hlmodtech.com. You can copy and paste that. Right here it mentions the Domino Project. You can use this video to make what I'm gonna make right now. And then it's almost like pixel art and dominoes combined. And then finally this one back here, tag your creation with HLMT23 so I can give you a reaction. Finally, right here, it mentions this domino can be saved as your creations. Those are all steps in the video that was linked to the project. So that tutorial showed how to make a domino project by simply switching to a five millimeter nudge, clicking on your domino, doing control D to duplicate. If you nudge three times, that's 15 millimeters. If you do control D again and again, it makes an awesome domino run that you can then test in SimLab. Well, I want to make one that looks like a cool shape. Now, I want to make one that has a football image with clip art. So I've typed football image clip art. I'm going to go to images and I just want the idea of an outline. So this is going to be my domino project following the football, of course, having the stripes. And then also we'll see about making laces. So now that I've got the idea, let's see how we could build this. Back to dominoes. I'm gonna take this first domino and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So that way it'd be the middle. And then I'm gonna shift nudge to get it out here to where I wanna build. So once again, to build the football shape, control D. And this time I'm gonna go one, two, three nudges. I'm also gonna go one nudge up and I'm gonna turn it a few degrees let's say 10 to make the shape. Now, if I do control D again and again and again, you can see that kind of makes a football shape, but I don't like how it turns too much. So let's delete it and let's do it again. Once again, control D. I'm gonna do my one, two, three nudges. I'm gonna do one nudge up. And this time I'm only gonna rotate it five degrees. Now I can do control D again and again and again. That looks more like my football shape. I'm gonna say that is one piece of my football. I can now select all of that and do control D. I'm gonna shift nudge to move it away. And then I'm gonna use the mirror command to flip it. And then keep nudging it till it's up where the top of the football would be. Now I'm gonna have to create a mechanism to trigger that. We'll figure that out in a minute. I'm going to do the second half of the football by selecting all of that and doing control D shift nudge and mirror. I'm going to put a gap between them. And now I have to create something in here that comes up and makes it go both ways. And this is where I think these projects can be absolutely fantastic because everybody can come up with their own ways to solve them. So right now I'm going to connect this in the middle, control D three nudges back, control D, control D. That fits pretty well. This is a little closer than I want though. So I'm gonna just nudge it apart. And then I can just grab these, control D, and shift nudge them up into place. Once again, if I do F to fit view, I can zoom in and make sure I've got it exactly where I want. If you don't want that nudge, you can always switch back so you can get it exact. And then I'm gonna put it back to my five millimeter nudge for the rest of it. I'm going to hit the home button so we can see it all from a little bit better angle again. Right now, I'm going to make my stripes, control D. I'm going to just drag this one out, rotate it to 90 degrees. If you make a mistake, just do control Z. I'm going to drag that to where I want the stripe to be. And once again, control D. This time, I'm going to nudge up one, two, three, and I'm going to go to the right. 
but I'm gonna twist it back and I'm gonna use that same five degrees or six degrees you can always type in the box if you want it to be perfect now when I do control D again and again that kinda looks like I want I think I'll actually use that move it over to the location where I think it's gonna work best nudge it into place and control D that whole thing and let's move it to the other side and use mirror to flip it all right so with all those parts in place I don't think I have enough room for my laces and I'm gonna keep this simple I'll let you guys push the limits and make it more awesome let's see if we can find a way to get this to start I think I'm gonna start it from this end and let's just build a traditional ramp so of course I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees stretch it out with the black handle I'm gonna get it close to where I want it to be and then we need it to launch both of those well let's see if we can do that with a single ball I'm gonna open this up just a little more so that it's close to both but not touching and let's drop in a sphere and this sphere is larger than both of those so I think it might hit both I do want to line it up let's do L for a line and make it to the middle and friends let's go to the sim lab and give it a test of course when it first loads you need to be patient for all the shapes to get their geometry figured out in the sim lab there you can see mine finally snapped into place now we need to lock this so that it is static because we don't want it to move and at this point we can hit play and see if our project works check that out we've got success on the first part I was not sure that's gonna happen of course you could have some trial and error as you make one but that is part of the fun too when it doesn't work you can just back up and double check it I will remind you that quite often with sim lab projects you do need to reset and run them twice to see how they're really gonna turn out and that works pretty sweet you can see that time it broke also I'm gonna have to do something with this ball let's reset and watch it one more time that time it stopped as well check out this new feature of SimLab so I can go to the ball and I can nudge it one click this way so it has a better shot of hitting that one let's see if that solves it I'll hit play and bingo that did solve that but I do have this problem right here so I'm gonna reset let's go back let's first solve the problem with the ball moving away with a simple cube I'm gonna bring it out stretch it a little larger I'm gonna do control D make that one a hole and make it a little thinner now I can take those two do L for a line and I want it center and I'm gonna bring it to the back but then I'm gonna click on the hole and I'm just gonna shrink it with the black handle just like that and then when I do control G to group I have now got something that will catch that ball and keep it from running into everything else I'm gonna keep it pretty low I do want to align it so I'm going to shift select choose the align tool make the blue one the boss and center it so when we get in I'll make that one static as well so now we need to think about how to trigger this other set of dominoes we could build all sorts of spinners but what I think I'm gonna do is try and time delay a ball so that after these tip over the ball comes through and tips it over the same way this one started but we're gonna do it with something that's curved this time let's do a search for marble and see what kind of cool things we have to play with there are built-in parts I think I'm actually gonna use this curve right here let's see if we can make it work so if I rotate this around and I move it to the location where I would want that I'm gonna make it transparent so I can see through it and it's gonna have to be higher than that so let's raise it up and now let's add a sphere I'll just do one at a time because it's gonna take a moment I'm gonna make that ball a little smaller by holding shift and squeezing it and let's see if we've got it lined up on the first try it is unlikely but that's half the fun 
is testing and seeing if you got it right. So this time they all snapped into shape pretty quick, but you did see that one take a moment longer. I'm gonna click on that one and I'm gonna make it static. I'm gonna click on this and also make it static. Now let's hit play and see what we get. All right, so we've got an error, but like I said earlier, we can pause and let's watch it in slow motion and see what happened. So if we spin around from this angle, we had a collision before we started. This is too low. Now this is a cool part of SimLab now. We can reset and we can modify that without leaving the SimLab. So I'm gonna grab this shape and I'm gonna raise it up quite a bit. And then I'm gonna grab this shape and I'm gonna raise it up just a little. So that should get rid of that collision. Another fun thing is I can use C to cruise and I can grab and put that right on the side of it just like that. Let's hit play and see if that solves it. <laughs> we were close, but it didn't quite knock it over. Once again, pause, reset, and I'm going to try clicking on that sphere and let's see what happens if we make it out of steel. So now it'll have a little more oomph. Once again, let's hit play and test to see what we get. <laughs> Bingo, we have got success. I'm going to pause, reset, back out, and let's see if we can get this on both sides. Once again, selecting both pieces, control D, shift nudge, and I don't even have to flip it. I can just move it to the location where I think I want it to be. And I think that might actually work. Let's give it a test. Sim Lab. Get our angles the way we want. I do want to make sure this is static, and it is. So let's hit play and see what we get. Oh my gosh, friends. There you have it. Kind of like pixel art and dominoes at the same time. Pause, slide back, and check out that project. How cool is that? Now, friends, whenever you finish a SimLab project, don't forget, you can always click right here on Share, and you can create awesome videos of your project. You can pick which format you want. You can do low quality or high quality. You can also pan and arrange so that when you do record your video, you get the exact view that you want. Of course, you can also save images. And then I'm gonna go back to this part right here. And I just wanna remind you that sometimes when you create the video, your project takes too long and it doesn't all show up. Friends, I have got a tutorial that shows you how to use ClipChamp to let it play through once and then record it how you want. You can get multiple angles, re-record and use special effects. Just remember the ClipChamp tutorials will be up in the corner. At this point, friends, I'm gonna to return to the 3D design and let me show you how easily you can share it with the whole world. The first thing I like to do is click on the settings and pick a different background color and then also shut off that grid. I just think it looks nicer when it's shared. Then we simply return to the Tinkercad dashboard and you can click on your project, choose the properties, give it a fun name, of course, I always give a description. You'll see here there is a tutorial coming soon. And down below, you'll find other ways to reach me. Add some tags. And then don't forget, if you add the tag HLMT23 and press enter, I search that tag every day. And of course, when I see your cool creation, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. And then I almost always choose attribution, no derivatives. But if you want people to be able to copy and play with your design to make it even possibly better, choose share alike. If you have to verify you're not a robot and then simply hit save changes. At that point, friends, I'm going to click on the gallery. Of course, the first thing you see are the awesome staff picks. Friends, when you see these, make sure you click on them. And of course, give them a reaction. Right now though, I want to shut off staff picks and let's click on this button so we see more designs at once. When you look through these designs, friends, take a moment, 
click on them, and of course, give them a reaction. That is an awesome project. Notice here, we cannot see what is in it, but if you hit view in 3D, bingo, you can see inside the snow globe. That is so darn awesome. I'm gonna click back here, and if we look down below, here is my fun domino project. Friends, of course, if you're gonna choose to copy and tinker, don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad and give a reaction beforehand. And that tutorial will be here soon. Friends, I'll give you another superpower. If you click on this link right here, you will be able to see all the designs I've created. You can scroll down, hit load more. There are a boatload of them. Of course, whatever you click on, don't forget, there's almost always a tutorial. The reactions, of course, are appreciated. You can also click and change to reactions. This shows you my most popular tutorials when you click on them. Of course, friends, you'll likely find a tutorial and maybe even a bonus tutorial if you're looking closely. As you're searching, friends, don't forget I have a lot more Domino projects. Here's an added bonus, friends. You can check out the HLMT23 search. Simply click and choose continue to external site and bingo, you'll be able to see all the HLMT23 tagged projects. Friends, when you're out here, make sure you give them a reaction. Check out this one. It is a new one from Fast Designs. What an epic project. Of course, I'm going to give it an awesome. Once again, friends, I want to say thanks again for following along. And I am looking forward to seeing the cool combinations of dominoes and pixel art that you come up with. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Down below, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad community discord as you can see there are a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech Thanks for watching. Have a great day.